Welcome to Elmore Elementary. I'm Alex Schoenfeld. And I'm Grace Salis. We are fifth graders at your school. Here are some of our friends. We have many friends from preschool to fifth grade. We love to learn, help each other, and have fun. Very good. And where's your height? Our teachers are great. They work hard to help us learn. Good job. Good estimating. If you need help, the teachers are there for you. We have plenty of teacher's aides and workers at Elm Road who take care of us and our school. We are glad you're part of our Elm Road family. Now we would like to introduce you to our principal, Dr. Soto Cryo. Thank you, Grace and Alex. I'm glad you had a chance to show our friends around the school. Hello, I'd like to welcome you to your school, the home of the Elm Road Eagles. I'm excited to share my days with you and help you become successful in life. A wiggle, a wriggle, a squiggle, a squirm. Education is fun. It is exciting to learn new things each day at school, at home, and in the world around us. I encourage you to read with your family and friends. Reading is the foundation to your education and future. We also have a lot of fun activities at Elm Road for you to be involved. Spell Bowl, Jump Rope Club, Art Smart, Basketball, Fun Fair, Zimbabwe Musical Group, and many other exciting PTO activities for your entire family to enjoy. We are family at Elm Road. We want to see you grow. We want to help you fly like the eagles. Thanks, Principal Soto Kyle. We have learned a lot here at Elm Road. And one reason is because of our SOAR program. SOAR stands for Safe, Organized, Accountable, and Respectful. And when you SOAR, you will be able to fulfill your dreams. Reflect on what you see wrong in this video of Nate rushing in class. S is for safety. Nate tripped and fell because his shoes were untied. Someone forgot to push in their chair and he was running. To be safe, tie your shoes, push in your chair, and don't run. Always be safe. Kendall, where's your homework? I left it at home, but I got it done. Well, I'm sorry. For me to know it, that it's done, I need to see it. But really, I did. I promise. Okay. No, I'm sorry. You would need to bring it in tomorrow. Okay. Go sit down. Bring it to me tomorrow. OK. Remember, O is for organized. Kendall forgot her homework at home. To be organized, put your homework in your backpack when you are done. If you do this, you will soar. See, not really. She's not noticing. You can keep on doing this. Oh, I ripped up your writing. Ha ha. Hey. Kendall and Troy, are you guys being accountable for what you guys what you guys are doing with your pencil and scissors and paper? No, not I really. Guess. Sorry. Remember guys, A is for accountable and you guys were not being accountable with your tools. You were using them as toys, so now you both have a warning. Sorry, we'll, we'll put our stuff away and we won't do it again. Today class, we'll be learning about Martin Luther King. <clears throat> does, anybody, does anybody know what happened to Martin Luther King? You know what he did? What did Martin Luther King fight for? 1967. No, that's not the answer. If you guys were paying attention, you would know the answer. So you guys were not being respectful to me. You guys were talking when I was talking, and now you all have a warning. Remember, R is for respectful. Don't talk while others are talking, and listen, don't talk. Raise your hand to be heard. To help us or we need to follow the level zero guidelines in school. Level zero means no talking. At the start of school, we use a level one voice, respectful, Quiet talking. Level zero voices. Sorry, I forgot. To show respect to the classes in session, when you're walking in the hallways throughout the day, we use level zero. No talking. Oh wait, guys, I forgot my snack. You no, can't go back in there. You can't go back in there. You have to ask the teacher first. In the bathroom, we use level zero, which means no talking. If you see this signal or this signal, that always means level zero, no talking. Notice how Ryan and Maverick are using level zero when they go to the bathroom. They wet their hands, one squirt of soap, 
wash their hands and rinse. Crank the towel dispenser three times, dry their hands, use the paper towel to turn off the water, and throw the paper towel away. Use one, two, three. One squirt, two hands, and three cranks of the paper towel dispenser. After drying their hands, they throw away the paper towel. Notice that when they use the drinking fountain, they use level zero. Level zero means no talking. When you see this symbol or this symbol, that means level zero, no talking. Hey guys, my birthday's today. It's gonna be really fun. What are you drawing? John. John. Come here. I don't want you to get in trouble on your first day, so. What do you mean? What was I doing wrong? S is for safe as in walk in the cafeteria. O is for organized, as in sit at your assigned tables. A is for accountable, as in use restaurant manners. R is for respectful, as in stay seated and only visit at your own table. Use store rules and be a good person. You're right. I was being disrespectful to everyone in here. Now I know what store really means. Thank you. After lunch, we use level zero when we empty our plates into the garbage and place our food trays and silverware in the proper containers. When lining up for recess, we use our level zero voices. Outside during recess, it is a time to have fun. You may use your outdoor voices. But students need to share playground equipment stay away from windows, and respect each other. Hello again, I'm Grace Salis. And I'm Alex Schoenfeld. We are glad you are a part of our Elm Road family. And to help you soar, dozens of teachers are here for us. They are here to fill our brains with cool stuff and discover the world around us. They are here to help. Help us learn, help us have fun, help us become successful in life, and to help us soar. We are also here to help you soar. Again, I'm Grace Salis. And I'm Alex Schoenfeld. Welcome to our school, Elm Road School, home of the Eagles. <laughs>